Oh dear, the halo has slipped, or is it the crown? Lady Diana was the people's princess. Kate Middleton was the perfect princess. A beautiful, discreet, devoted wife, a caring mother, and a dutiful public servant. Since she entered the royal family, she really hasn't put a foot wrong. But it's all come crashing down with a wildly photoshopped Mother's Day image. I've got to say, before the veracity of this image was brought into question, it was already raising eyebrows, with many noticing that Catherine was not wearing her wedding or engagement ring. Now, this was a significant official portrait, an image of the royal family on Mothering Sunday. Do you not think she would have put her rings on for that? For a long time now, there has been wild and frankly nasty online speculation about her and William's marriage. Now, I've got no doubt that they are blissfully happy. But a ringless photograph of his wife on Mother's Day will be a field day for those seeking to characterise this marriage as under strain. In my view, that's complete nonsense. The body language between the couple in public and the smiling faces of their three happy children would suggest that the Waleses are fine. But the gossip mongers and conspiracy theorists, far from being silenced by this image, have now been handed an early Christmas present as it's revealed that several major news agencies have pulled the photograph over concerns it's been doctored and manipulated. A perfunctory message on Twitter from Catherine herself confirmed confirming that she, like many amateur photographers, likes to experiment with editing, and she apologised for causing any confusion, but it didn't really hit the spot. Now, I don't know about you, but I've certainly brightened up pictures of myself and the family. I've improved the contrast, raised the colours, and tried to make the kids more attractive. But this Photoshop fail was bizarre. Just the scale of it alone. Why are there so many trees outside in full bloom this early in the year? Part of Princess Charlotte's wrist is missing. In fact, the photograph is thought to contain as many as 16 inconsistencies, including the small matter of Prince George missing a foot. Surely a unique physical characteristic that would have come to public attention by now. And some are even suggesting that Princess Catherine has an Adam's apple. But I seriously doubt that she is the first trans royal. But if the palace have nothing to hide, they should publish the original photograph, which we're told was taken by William. But I doubt they ever will, which is why this story will now enter conspiratorial folklore forevermore. In the end, there is a lesson for the royal family and for all public figures. Be straight with us. You take a photograph of the family on Mother's Day and you publish it. The very fact that this image has been doctored in any way, even for aesthetic reasons, is a problem for a monarchy that wants to be seen as authentic, real, credible and down to earth. Meanwhile, the questions where is Kate and what's going on with her health will only get louder. Frankly, I think she should be left in peace to recover and get well. We didn't need this photo and this airbrushed PR nonsense. It's an insult to the public. This saga has been a sorry story for the royal family. From now on, how can we believe a photograph that's released or a statement that's made? A fake image creates a sense of a fake family and a fake monarchy. They say the camera never lies. If only that was true of the royal family. We've just had a snapshot into what they're really like.